Hey, what's going on, guys? Just giving you an update on the upgraded Razor E325. We got the front and a rear HUD motor on there. We got a LED ultra bright headlight on the front. We um, running 52 volts fully charged would be 58 volts uh, let's see let's turn the lights on got the lights to glow around there headlight the headlight is ultra bright too boy got the LED red LED lights all around the bottom got the LED lights in the back so you can see from the back I machined two aluminum blocks one on this side and one on that side that the axle goes through drilled it and put two set pins in there right there and on that side and then I mounted it with them stainless steel bolts on the side the aluminum blocks and that's how I mounted the the rear wheel on you can see right there this little box right here that converts the 52 volts down to 12 volts to run all the lights mounted a caliber on the back with the big rotor wave rotor on there we got the caliber mounted on the front with the wave rotor made a little bracket right there to bolt the headlight on we got right here this green button here is for cruise control so I don't have to hold the throttle I can get it to whatever speed I want hit the green button it'll hold it at that speed till I pull the front brake or either hit the the um, gas got a thumb throttle on it now instead of the twist throttle we got this red button here disengage the front wheel when you press release the button and disengage the front wheel and you can only run off the back wheel then you got this switch here which would be the blinker switch I'm using that for my high you got your low you got your medium and then you got your high speed so I can turn it on low can serve on energy got your key here Turn your key on, 54.3 volts. We got the speedometer around here, and you can click on there. Average speed I have been is seven miles per hour. Down here, I done went 31 miles since I done put this together. Uh, let's see. Right there, 37.47 miles per hour is the fastest it can be. Um, this right here is the temperature, 52 degrees outside. On a fully charged battery, I fully charged the battery and took it out for a test run. And the battery lasted about a month. And it went 25 miles on a full charge yep this here is the little razor e325 upgrade to dual motors and this thing got some torque it'll pull up any hill you hit the gas on this thing too fast it'll pop a really on you this thing is really really fast compared to what it was and man it rides a lot better braking is better you can see the headlight man it's really bright let's turn it and I also still have my regular headlight here that I can turn on and I can hit it on flash
So I got this one here, just got that one down there, and then I still have this tail light on the back. You just press it, put it on, and it got several settings. And go through that one, go through that one, that setting. back to off here there's back to off but yeah then is the upgrades I did and man this thing's difference between night and day with these new upgrades the braking is excellent acceleration is excellent the top speed you could I don't think you would want to go too much faster than what this thing is going right now Cause it's getting a little crazy how fast this thing is now. I was thinking about raising it up to 72 volts, which will make it have more top end. But the the torque on it is so much. When you first just barely hit the throttle, man, that thing will jerk you. So I can imagine what it'll do with 72 volts. So yeah, I think where we got it at now is where. I will I will leave it and get a picture of the back. As you can see, that thing got the whole ground up there lit up. The back is lit up so people can see you from the back. I like to put a little bit more LED lights on here to be a little bit more visible at nighttime. Probably put some somewhere up in this this front right here. Maybe even something coming down this bar here to make you more visible so you can be seen at nighttime. But guys, other than that, this is the progress. And this thing is running like a dream. Running like a dream. Change the, um, the levers and went with these aluminum levers the other ones was plastic these are a lot better then we changed the brake lines went with the the black ones and it didn't come with a front brake at first and it had a drum brake on the back so i converted everything over man this thing runs good on the next warm day while i'm off We'll have to ride over to the spot, take it for a run like I did before. But as you can see, that LED light, that thing is crazy, crazy bright. Let me turn it off. You can see the difference. Look at the ground there. That's all. Turn it on. Compared to this one here. Can't even see it on the ground. Let me shine. Yeah, you can see it down there. But that's nothing. You can see a little flashing. But guys, this is gonna be it. Um, keep you posted on the updates. Thinking about building a auxiliary battery mounted on the front in the bag right here i already got the bag just haven't put it on there yet but i'm gonna put a battery in there to give me more range try to get about 40 miles out of a charge but this is it all right guys have a good one